How's it going, everyone? Yo, it's your boy Corey here, aka Crasher, back with a new video. And ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of competitive Pokemon content in the form of Pokemon Showdown. And what we have here is a Generation 8 random battle that I had with my friend Rebel Penguin 20. And this right here was loads of fun. Without further ado, let's just get into this. Alrighty, let's let the games begin, ladies and gentlemen. So Rebel leads off with Alakazam, and I lead off with Blaziken. Already that was a bad matchup, so I swapped into Spiritomb, predicting a Psychic, and lo and behold, that prediction actually worked out. So he actually switches into Galarian Zapdos here, and I go for Poltergeist here, and I'm also Choice Banded, so that does a decent chunk on the Zapdos, who goes for the Brave Bird and does a decent chunk on my ass, you know what I'm saying? And I managed to finish him off with another Poltergeist here. So Spare Tomb, Choice Banded and all, baby, putting in some good work, except now we have Nidoking King here, who ends up taking down my Spare Tomb. I didn't exactly have any safe switches at the moment, so I bring in my my Urshifu here, and I decide to pull the trigger and go for the Gigantamax, baby. So I go for the G-Max one blow, and that does quite a bit of damage to him, but he still stands. And he actually manages to go for the Substitute here. And I go for another G-Max 1 Blow to get rid of the Substitute. And also see what he would do next. And he goes for the Earth Power. And even in Gigantamax form, that does quite a bit of damage. I mean, Nitto King is sheer force. And it is scary for a reason. But I managed to finish him off with my third G-Max 1 Blow. And honestly, man, <laughs> that right there was a big concern I had on Rebel's side. But now in comes Mineshout. So I actually switch into Mimikyu, predicting a fighting type move, but he actually Dynamaxes as well. Goes to the Max Knuckle, only for it to have zero effect. So he then goes for Max Darkness, and thanks to Disguise, I was able to withstand the brunt of that attack. And I'm thinking, okay, well... How do you like that? How do you like Play Rough? And that right there does a decent chunk of damage to Mineshow, who then goes for the Max Ooze, and that does quite a bit of damage. I'm thinking, okay, but Mimikyu survived. But is Mineshow going to take a, another Play Rough? Well, here's the thing. It took it, but it went down, baby. So now we have ourselves Midday Lycanroc. So I switch my Urshifu back in, predicting a Rock-type move which is exactly what he does. He goes for the Acel Rock, doesn't really do that much damage. And I'm thinking, okay, well, I could probably one-shot this thing. He goes for Stone Edge, and with a crit, man, that does quite a bit of damage to Urshifu. And I go for the Drain Punch, not only taking down the Midday Lycanroc, but also getting back quite a bit of health. And now my friend has two Pokemon left, and he has Flapple, and I go for the Drain Punch, does a decent chunk of damage. And he then goes for the Dragon Dance. I'm thinking, uh-oh. Well, he's setting up to win for sure. And I'm thinking, can Urshifu take a hit at plus one? Nope. And that Flapple right there with Life Orb. And I'm sure it's also Hustle boosted as well. So that thing definitely ain't effing around. So I bring in Blaziken just for it to die to Outrage. I'm thinking, well, damn, this ain't good. Except I have Azumarill, another Fairy-type Pokemon, so he's locked into Outrage and can't do shit to me. He's then confused as well, and I go for the Choice Band Boost and Knockoff, and easily Dispatch of that Flapple right there. And then we have ourselves Alakazam, and he actually goes for Nasty Plot here for some strange reason, because, well, Azumarill goes for the Knockoff, finishing off the Alakazam, a one-hit KO, and that right there, ladies and gentlemen, is the game and this right here was definitely definitely a fun battle with my friend rebel penguin 20 and long time community member here in the crasher community and this right here honestly was definitely definitely loads of fun and he had fun as well which is the main thing when it comes to battling, man, you gotta have fun. You know what I'm saying? And with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, that's gonna be a wrap-up here for this fun little video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, leave a like and a comment down below. Tell me what you guys think, and also subscribe if you do enjoy the type of content, as well as vibes that yours truly puts out here in my videos. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for your time as well. Always and truly appreciated. You guys are fucking legends. Have yourselves a damn good one, and as always, I'll see you guys in the next video.